Welcome to my store. Now Dad is going to drip the the pipe fish up cowfish. here. Nice fish. I said pipe fish. You Why said cowfish. I don't know. You're the brightest one I got, or brightest dad I have. The brightest father ever. Yeah, in your world. So this tank he made me mix up today, but it was already aged water. It needs to add more water to it. So because we didn't want to add any pollutants or not pollutants, pathogens or pathogens diseases. or diseases, because they have no. Um, well, these uh, guys are more durable than the seahorses. Okay, but they still don't have as many. Uh, not like a fish, no. no. So see how slow that's dripping. So what's going to happen, it's going to overflow into this bucket, and then we're going to throw that water away. Okay? Fine. That way all the water that they came in that has the uh, ammonia and everything built up will be gone, and they'll go into pure, clean water, and then the boy puts stability in here. This is back here. Three caps. Well, it's one capsule for 10 gallons, 30 gallon tank. Okay? So we'll go back downstairs now and leave this drink. But I'm going to get... Well, what? that's where we're going to put some of the cleaner shrimp. Because they'll be real... The babies. Well, we'll put them there tomorrow. We'll put everything downstairs shrimp. tonight. See, it's pretty dark outside. I'm just going to get some food. Oh, no, no, no. For sure. Down the stairs. Oh look, it's fodder. Okay, so there was another mantis shrimp in that uh, clear bucket. Oh, it was big. So we're going to put them in there. They run so fast, like I've seen them in a customer's tank where uh, they're running across the rock. I grabbed a net, shoved it down right in front of him. He went whipping into the net. I pulled him out. The customer was so impressed. Total sheer luck. But I didn't tell the customer that. They just thought I was skilled, talented, and even brilliant. They were obviously misinformed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, There's another one there. Oh, well, I know. I'm catching them right now. Having troubles. Now. What's this thing, though? Look, look. Th this is a lobster. See this thing here? Well, I was thinking there was a lobster. That's a lobster? This no, is a not. baby slipper lobster. You're lying. Okay. Oh, he's yeah. on that. Oh, Ouch. I was thinking that was a rock. Oh, he hurt you. He hit me. <laughs> Well, he doesn't want. To well, he doesn't held. want to be held in my hand. Oh, How? Strange. I wonder why. Put him in better light. I want to see him. Well, this is better light. This is a slipper lobster, also known as a dozer. Okay, he curls up apparently. So we're gonna put him in the refugium because he really doesn't eat anything until. Uh, well, once he gets to be about four, five, six inches long, he'll knock stuff over, but uh, you're not going to see him. He just fell to the bottom. Yeah, no, he's zipping around. I can see him. He's right there. Yeah. Or right there. I don't know. There's two things moving. Well, he's zipping. We call him Zippy. Zippy? Yeah, you know, Zippy. You, you just made up a name for him? Well, how do you think we came up with your name? Mm, we just looked at My the Jewish book. grandmother. No, we got your name from Mrs. Rabinowitz. Yeah, that's what I said. No, Mrs. Ross was your Jewish grandmother. I had a lot of grandmothers, apparently. Well, I was at uh, Mesro's today and I was talking to not your mommy. I know. She still says she's your mom, but... I know. I says, no. My but boy. But she has her own... Well, now she has her own boy. Yeah. No, she has her own girl. I was about to say. So we'll put all these crabs down here. What type of crabs are these? Stone crabs. Hairy crabs. Doesn't really matter. We just put them down here and when they get really big and we can find them. How big did they get? How can we not put anything in here? We haven't put anything in there yet. Ah. Why don't you put any of those crabs in here? 
because uh, if they hang on to a rock and somebody buys the rock and takes it away, I lose them. Oh, I lose them. There's not another crab right there. Where? Yeah, but he ain't moving. There was one moving there. Where? Right around there. Oh, unless it was just you moving. Well, we'll end up putting everything that's in this bucket in a box full of uh, water. And then whatever moves away to the other side, we know is alive. See, that's probably alive. Yeah, it's some kind of snail. So we'll put him up here because we don't know what he eats yet. I'll look that up in the book tomorrow. You see all these critters in here? Can we put the starfish somewhere where I can find them? No. Why? Because I got a bunch of those in the refugium already. They're nothing new to me. So? Well, I'm only excited by things that are new to me. Mm -hmm. So we'll put all the snails and the clams, because these are algae-eating snails. They're moon snails. So we know they're safe. The clams are filter feeders, so we know they're safe. So they'll all go into the refugium. That's a limpid shell. See how it's hollow there? Can't really see it, but okay. Well, it's the hollow. Focus there. if you go right up front isn't very great. No, not on video. <sighs> I'm gonna fall over. My legs hurt. And then the rest of these, I assume, are all going in the white tub. Yep. Okay. So you don't want to put their water in our system? No. Well, they put a newspaper in it, too. You should never put anybody else's water in your system if you can help it. For some of the uh, shrimp and stuff like that, if they come in in really clean water, I'll put all the water into the bucket and then drip them slowly, and then it'll overflow into the tank. And because it's actually a fairly small volume of water, it's okay. My legs are... Like that's what you're gonna do with these shrimp. Yeah. The shrimp are gonna go down in the bottom. Not all of them. For the night, yeah. Oh, okay. How are you gonna catch them in tomorrow? With the net, son, with the net. Alrighty then. When are you gonna put the fish away? These ones. And are you going to separate the angel because of his injury? Yeah. Okay. Malefix? Bucket? Um, no, bio bandage. What? This is a bio bandage. Don't even know what that is. Is it a tablet or liquid? Uh, a small jar, a small uh, squeeze bottle. I do not know. You'll have to find it. What's that? That's the starfish. I think he looks cool. Yeah. How many legs does he get? Just five? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. I'm going to put him down here so that we'll be able to find him when he gets bigger. How big do you think he's going to get? I don't know. You see, looking at the size of him, he doesn't look like he's one of the ones that's going to say super tiny. Okay. So, I have hopes that he'll be like the size of a, a brittle uh, starfish, like... The one that was in here that you focused yeah, on. Yeah, the one that was on the side of the tub there, uh, if he didn't move back. That was not like a few, that was like ten. It was a few days back, we do a lot of videos all at once. Yeah, that one day we did like two hours. Yeah, well, we put the order away, so uh, 